Here's problem 1414. A blimp is filled with 200 cubic meters of helium. How much mass can the balloon lift? The density of helium is one seventh that of air, and the density of air is one eight hundredth that of water. First thing we should do is make a free body diagram of our balloon. Here's our balloon. It's got some kind of volume, which I'll say is V. And um, it's got weight. So we've got the weight of the balloon itself, um, which we'll assume to be the mass that we can lift times G. We also have the weight of the helium bearing down like this, so that would be the mass of the helium times G. And then we have to realize that uh, air is a fluid, so there's going to be a buoyant force due to the air, and that buoyant force will be pushing up, and that will be equal to the density of air times the volume displaced times G. That will be the same volume as the balloon. And as a result of these three forces, uh, the balloon will continue to float. So we have it based on the summation of forces in the y direction. Our buoyant force minus the weight of the helium minus the weight of the balloon or the weight of the lift that we wish to lift will be equal to zero. So we have the density of air times the volume of the balloon times g which is our buoyant force minus the weight of the helium which will be uh, the mass of the helium times g minus the mass of the lift times g will equal zero. Divide both sides by g, get rid of that, and so we have the density of air times the volume minus the mass of the helium which would be the density of helium times the same volume because that's taking up the whole interior of the balloon minus the mass of the lift is equal to zero. In other words, the mass of the lift that we can we can lift with this balloon is equal to the density of air minus the density of helium which is one seventh the density of air times the volume. Okay, so we'll have that this is equal to uh, six sevenths times the density of air, which we're told is one eight hundredth that of water. So we'll have one eight hundredth of water, which is a thousand kilograms per meter cubed, times the volume, two hundred cubic meters. And that should give us the mass. So we have six divided by seven, divided by eight hundred, times a thousand, times 200. That gives me 214.3 kilograms. So that is the mass that we can lift with this balloon.